Wins are not updated. I'm gonna okay, fine. I'll just I'll just I'll just uh I'll just be a boss. I'm gonna win the next 20 games. How's that, you guys? Does that make you happy? There you go. So I'll get to 200 wins. Okay. Let's play the Dutch. Go here, maybe D6, G6. Oh, it's my move. Sorry, it's my move. What am I doing? Yeah, it's my move. Let's play G6, Bishop G7, Knight D7, E5 here, maybe castles. Okay, let's move the king, maybe E5, maybe Knight C6, maybe C6 here. Let's go Queen E8, E5, or Knight C6. I need to play in the center of the board here, try to open it up as well. Okay, so this is an eye tracker speedrun. Those of you guys who are here who weren't here earlier. So this is an eye tracker speedrun. So I'm looking at the board, trying to figure out what I'm playing exactly. It goes there. Um, let's go E5 here. Everything everything is safe on the on the queen side. Looks good. I have E5. I have Knight A5 next move. I think I'm doing pretty well. Takes, I just take. Knight F7, I just take. And then he takes, and I just go Queen E7, I think. I mean, I thought I had Knight A5 here to, to deleverage, or not deleverage, but to remove the Queen from the correct squares. I also have Knight E4. I also have Knight D8. Okay, this guy's playing well. Let's go Knight A5. This might take some, some actual work to win. Let's see. Let's take. I have knight e4, maybe. Attack the bishop. He goes back. I have g5, f4. I'm going to play this first to hit the queen. Create create a diagonal for my bishop. That's not going to get it done, however. All right. What are we at? 180? It's 181. Let's keep rolling. Alligator, 1868. Let's play the King's Gambit King's Gambit here. We'll, we'll, we'll try to open up the center of the board here. Thank you. It's LJ for the tier one, J abuser for the tier one. Thank you. Let's play Knight F3. Just gonna try to develop. Okay, plays D5. I take, I go Knight C3 here. Uh, let's go Knight C3. Let's go Bishop C4. I take, I want to go d4, knight e5, maybe open up the center of the board, maybe just castle here. I really do like my position. Let's go, oh no, that's bad. Let's go here. If I go here, there's a double attack, queen c5, hitting this. Keep rolling. Play d5, and then he castles. I think I'm going to go bishop here to hit the knight, maybe queen e2, maybe just take the pawn next move as well. Knight g5. I think I'm just gonna go here and collect. Wins are not updated. I'm gonna okay, fine. I'll just I'll just I'll just uh I'll just be a boss. I'm gonna win the next 20 games. How's that, you guys? Does that make you happy? There you go. So I'll get to 200 wins. Okay. Let's just go back and I'll just take next move. I think we're at 181, so we're 19 away. Just take the juicer, let's just take the queen. I'll go here, target the pawn. Okay, let's play queen h4 here. Maybe c4, maybe d5, maybe bishop g5 at some moment. Um, let's go here. I don't know if this is right. I want to go d5, c5. Um, Uh, what do I have here? Wait, one second. What just happened? Wait, did I just lose the eye tracker? Give me one second. Wait, we're back. Okay, sorry. Okay. Um, let's go here. Maybe just takes. Maybe take the bishop next move. He goes bishop f5. I can still take. I'm going to go here. Maybe just take with the pawn. I, I want to go queen a7 at some moment, but it's hard to get this move in. Go for a checkmate. I'll pre-move pawn takes. It's a safe pre-move. Okay, now I do have queen a7. Go c5 here. How do I play this exactly? I'm gonna go, hmm. Just go here. 
be a little bit careful not to get mated or something in this position. He's got knight c2, but I have queen a7, or at least that's my idea. Oh, I blundered knight g4. That was actually very poor. But he still has no checks. I have misplayed this quite significantly. Go check. I have c5. I've got h3 also. Let's go h3. Let's just take. Oh, I just blundered. Fudge. I should have gone rookie one. Point six on every move. Yeah, he's he's cheating. But anyway, whatever. He's totally cheating. Three point six on every single move. Yeah, three point seven on that move too. I mean, he's totally cheating. Um, I'm actually not gonna count that game because like, what? Nobody's using three point six on every single move. Even the last movie used three point seven. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he totally cheated. Let's go here in Bishop G7. Lose equals cheating. No, the thing is that he used 3.7. If he if he had made the moves um like in one second, there's nothing. But he was using he was using three seconds every single move from a certain point in that game. There was no checkmate with Queen A8 because there was King D7. But he was totally uh he 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 was totally cheating. Why don't I get him banned? I don't have those powers in the middle of the game to do anything. Let's go here, maybe queen c7 or queen b6 next move. Let's go queen b6 and bishop f6 or knight f6 next move. Yeah, he had 99% accuracy, right? Yeah. Yeah, he had 99% accuracy. <laughs> I, I only noticed the three seconds, but 99.7% accuracy. Good job, dude. Good job. Congrats on cheating. And now you'll get banned forever, hopefully. Let's go knight d5. Why did I report? I can, but it's not like you guys assume they're people. Uh, they're people who can actually do stuff in the middle of the games. Yeah. Let's go rook c8. Let's go here in queen a6. At least there's at least there's no um there's no question there are no questions about it. That that's what I would say. Cause it's it's like when people start getting annoyed, and they're like, oh well, how can you be sure? But then it's like 99. percent It's like, well, okay, I'm just right. Sorry. Let's go here in rook e8. Thank you to Penguin GM for the raid with 470. Thank you to Andrew. Appreciate it. Let's go here. Smurfing is legal only, only if you, you make them aware and it's only for a specific purpose and the points get refunded at the end. But yeah, like for example, if I was just doing this and chess.com was not aware, that would not be that would not be allowed. Ludwig is about to play chess too. Oh my god. Ludwig too? Wow. Alright, let's go rook b6 and a5 here. I had about five to ten games at 99%. Yeah, it can happen, but it's not even about the five to ten percent of the games. It's the fact that every every move that he played was perfect too. It's the time usage, the perf the perfection of the moves, um, just a combination of all those factors. Great, it goes B four. That's a good move. So now the players are playing pretty well. I'm gonna go H five, Bishop H six, maybe. Let's go here. Hit the rook. Maybe Rook C eight. He plays f4. I'm gonna play f5. I don't know if it's a good move or not, but we get like kind of a situation where I assume I can put and just take because I hit the bishop. So he can't take the pawns in e6 or d5 here.
The, yeah, the guy is like 98% accuracy. So that's why like now I'm, I don't even I don't even mind because if, if it wasn't so clear cut, maybe you could say something. But yeah, it's like 99% 1800. I mean, I, I wish people understood that it's like when you do that, it's not even funny. It's like it's ridiculously obvious. It's not even funny. It's just super obvious. Let's go here and hit the pawns. Just take and go rookie seven here. Oh, uh, let's just take the pawn, go rookie four, maybe e5 next move. Let's go rook c4, maybe rookie four, maybe b4, b3 here. Let's just take, create the uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go c3. All right, let's play e4 here. Let's play the Grand Prix attack and Sicilian here. Let's go knight of three next move and keep rolling. Maybe bishop b5. He is 98% in every single game. Jeez. Blatant cheating. Not even like, not even pretending. Not even pretending. Pathetic. Thank you, Constant, for the prime. 1HOV for the get to sub. Lomerano with the prime. Thank you to Nerdo with the prime. And the real Chiro with the prime. Sub no side with the three. It's an extra three fluky fit for the two months. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let's go here. Not even pretending, like just flat out cheating. Let's go E5 here. <laughs> just sad. Already banned. Yeah, I know. Whatever. Rating is slightly off for this now, but who cares? I'm going to go here. He had bishop b5 trap and the rook, but he missed it. It's Daniel on his alt. No, because Daniel would never do that. Daniel would never cheat. And Daniel, even Daniel, by the way, would never hit 99% every game, to be clear. Like, Daniel would never hit 99% consistently. That's how you know it's not legit. I wouldn't hit it. Daniel wouldn't hit it. No one would hit 99%. So that's why when people do it, they, they don't realize that it's just blatantly obvious. Let's go here. Let's stop knight c4. I'm going to go f5 and knight f5 and queen g4 next move. What about Magnus? I mean, we'll hit 99% every so often, but we're not going to hit it consistently game after game. Okay, I go f5. I want to take, maybe put pressure on g7, queen g4. Take the juicer. I have queen g4. Um, I can take with the knight. I can take with the bishop. Um, I think I'm gonna take this one. We go here. Oh, I have knight d6 also. I just realized I have this one. I want to go queen g4, but then he goes knight d6 to hold the pawn. And now I should be winning here, I think, because he can't really guard all his, his pieces. I could have gotten the next world champion band. Very funny. You guys don't understand the, the mathematical improbability. Literally, it's it's impro it's impossible. Like impossible. There's like 0.0000% chance. Like literally 0.00. .00. You guys don't understand. Like it's it's literally like literally there's a 0% chance. That's that's what's great is when, when someone does that, like there's there are no questions. Like you just know. You just know. Okay, I'm gonna go queen here, maybe maybe b4, maybe a4. One and seven point five trillion, yeah. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Slay like a4 and takes. Maybe rook a4 here. I wanna hit the pawn on a6 as well. Let's go here. I think I'll go here and rook b6 maybe. Let's go rook b6, hit the queen, hit the pawn. I can push the pawn, open up the diagonal. Let's open up this diagonal here. So I hit the pawn on g7. I'm covering all the squares here. Yeah, he's got nothing. He's going to resign here.
Good check and let's go, mate. Okay, we're playing Cold Jack 1820. Let's play C6 and D5 here. Let's go D5, maybe just takes. Uh, let's play the Karo Khan, the uh, advanced variation. We'll take, we'll play E6 here. Uh, maybe Knight E7, Knight F5, maybe Knight seven C5 at some moment. Thank you to the John for the Prime. More Shanks with Tier 1, Long Diagonal with the Prime. Neofrax with 2 and Digby as well. Thank you so much. Ludwig is struggling playing Blitz. I mean, Blitz is just so hard to play if you're new to the game of chess. I mean, I really don't recommend it. Thank you to Schmitty for the Prime. Thank you so much, Schmitty. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, goes for it. So I take, I take. Knight f5, maybe. Queen h4. Pressure down towards the rook. I can play queen b6 here. I can also just go check, maybe. And knight f5. Don't know if I love this, but it's a move. Let's go here. Queen b5 is a move. Queen a6 is a move, also. Oh, bullet not oh my god he's trying to play bullet wait are you serious yeah bullet's gonna be really rough i mean i i would not recommend playing bullet bullet is really harsh if you're if you're new really really hard okay what do we have here yeah, let's look at this percentage. 99.2, 99, 98.2, 98.4, 94.4, 98.1, 98.4. I mean, again, you guys. Yeah, good one, dude. Good job. Sad world we live in. Let's go here. I could have taken two, maybe. He goes knight b3. I will obviously take here. I c4 is also a move, maybe. Maybe better. Okay, takes. Oh, can I? No, I can't sack. I thought I could sack. Okay, let's go check. Attack the king. I have g3. No castles, by the way. Now I can castle. I should be winning here, I think. Let's just castle here. Knight d4 is coming. Maybe queen c4. Let's go queen c4. Let's take with a pawn. This is really, really good. Maybe, okay, maybe just here. I want to tickle him so if he takes, I can fork the, uh, let's just take so I have the fork. Oh my gosh, Zin did a checkmate too, I think. Oh, wow. This is brutal. Okay, and this is checkmate. Now, just to give you guys an example, I'm just going to stop for a second. That was a pretty clean win, but I guarantee you that this, this report is not, it's probably not even, not, I, let's see what the percentage is. I'll change the scene. Just give me one second. Uh, yeah, I'll change the scene. Just to give you an idea, you guys, that was what I would say a very clean game by me. Oh, wait, this doesn't show. Yeah, look at this game, you guys. 91.3 accuracy. 91.3, and that was a pretty clean game. Pretty clean game by me, and it's 91.3. So this is what I'm saying. When someone has a 98 or 99%, you guys, I'm sorry, but like, I know what I'm talking about. So that's, that's what I'm saying. Let's keep going. Like that was a very clean game by me. Very, very clean game. And it's like 91%. So when people are like, oh, it can happen. It's like extremely unlikely. Let's go here. Also, the reason it's the reason it's blatant is because it's consistent. It's like consistently like 90, 90, 91 percent plus. Okay, let's just castle and play rookie one. Maybe takes. Let's go here. Maybe knight a four and c four is a move here. Let's go c four and b three and takes. Um, very ugly double pawns here. Very very ugly. Okay, let's just go here, hit the knight. Knight e4 is a very good move. Let's go here and trade some knights. Let's play a game of knights. Let's go here, put pressure on the bishop. Let's 
go here, maybe queen d2. Maybe go for a, let's go for a stack. I could have gone for, I'm going to get a legendary triple stack in a second. Okay, he sees h6, good move. Let's go here so we laterally connect the rooks and the bishops. So we're trying, I, I was going to do the bro stack. Now I'm going to do the bro lift probably. Let's go h4 here, maybe b3. I don't know if this is good, but I figure long term I can bring my rook in. Let's just go here, consolidate my pawns. Let's go here. Maybe I go here. Okay, let's go here. Wait, isn't that just a... Wait, but now I take and I get mate. Yeah, there we go. Let's go e4. Let's go c3, maybe d4. Let's just take. Let's go d5 here. Pretty good position, maybe knight c3. Let me see. One second. Uh, let's just go here. Maybe I have this. I have f4. I feel like I should have something here. Let's go f4. Not sure if it's good. He goes bishop g4. I can also make a check here, maybe. The idea is that basically if he moves the knight back, I can take the juicer. He moves the bishop back, he loses the knight. He has king f8. Only move, I think. Uh, let's just go here. Let's just play this very slow. See, he moved the king so he can't castle, so his development is always going to be stunted here. Okay, I'll go knight c3. Probably I should have taken with the queen to prevent this idea because he gets a diagonal. I'm gonna go here, trade some queens. Let's go here, target the knight, target the pawn. Knight d4's move, h3 is also a move here. Let's just build our center, take the space. Knight b5, c7. I mean, I think I go here in rook c1, maybe. Looks pretty good. The blob is where I'm looking on the screen, correct? Yeah, it's where I'm looking on the screen. Let's go here, take the open file. I'm gonna go king f3. Let's play h3 here. Let's go b4, maybe b5 and knight b5 at some moment also. Actually, uh, let's move the knight so he doesn't get the square. He still is lacking development. His king has rook. He'd love the rook over here, but he can't connect the bros because his king had to move and he can't castle and move the rook over. Let's go b3 to stop the jump from the springer and uh, maybe rook c1 next move. Okay, now I'm going to play for the huge attack on the... Uh, actually, I gave him... Doesn't do it. Okay, let's take and go here. Maybe knight f5 next move. I like my position here, actually. I really do like it. It's really, really good. The Springer, yes. Springer is Deutsch. Uh, let's go here and hit the bishop. That's Deutsch, of course. As everybody here speaks Deutsch, you guys know that a Springer means... Uh, mean That's what you call a knight in, in German. When will I start preparing for the next event? Probably early next week. Let's just take. And now I fossilize him because I hit the king and I win the juicer. Let's just eat the juicer, and this looks very, very winning for me. Let's just take. Okay, now we have what? We've got a knight, a bishop, and a rook. Uh, let's just go here, cut the king off. We're gonna go here and the knight here, and we're gonna go, go here, here, and here. Although he's not letting me, so I'll go here to take it anyway. Let's go here. go check okay let's keep rolling let's go here maybe knight f3 maybe d4 next move 
An E5, probably. Okay, he's playing this line. It's a very old line. This used to be one of the main lines in the uh, modern defense. Nowadays, it's considered kind of unplayable, uh, but I, I haven't. Or maybe it's considered playable. A lot has changed, but I remember the first time I looked at this variation was in 1997, I believe, uh, or 98. I think Knight G5, Knight G6 is good. This is also a, a great line. Um, this is a line that's playable for black because of an invention that Yasser Sarawan came with long before. Wait a second, what's that? Wait, this doesn't look right. What am I? This doesn't look right at all. Anyway, what's? It's not right. I have no idea as we're saying. It's a, it's a very old line that I looked at about 20, 23 years ago, with my stepfather and my brother when we were preparing for for this tournament, the U.S. Open in in, uh, in Hawaii. Yasser came up with this idea though, where there's a pawn takes pawn and bishop d4. Okay, this game's not going to count. I don't think. I don't think the dude's here. Probably going to be a board in a second. Yeah, it's going to be a border. Or no, it's not. Okay, one second. Let's get the clock running then. Okay, let's play the king's gambit. Let's go here. Okay, let's play the Kizaritsky variation of the king's gambit defense here. Uh, Paul Morphy, of course, the game that I showed you guys in my world world champion sort of series that I started doing. Uh, this is what Paul Morphy played. So it's a very, very sharp very line, not clear at all. Um, but you get a lot of quick rapid fire development like the knight and the bishop and you're hitting the pawn on f4 g3 is obviously a move castles is also a move i think castle is fine because he takes and i just take or did i just blunder g3 he doesn't take advantage okay let's um what's the move here i can now nah, let's just go for it why not let's play romantic chess actually wait yeah let's just go like here and let's let's try to line it up because he has three juicers undeveloped and i can go one and then bring everything in bring 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 the boys to the party very quickly let's go knight c3 knight d5 i'm definitely going to take and go queen f4 probably okay let's eat the juicer let's go check he can't block so he loses the queen he has to go here and then i go here and then i bring the last boy to the party with rook f1 Boys to the party. Uh, I picked that up from Niels Grandilis, who's playing in Tata Steel. So Niels basically gave a lesson to to Nim, and he was saying, like in development, he was saying, "Bring the boys to the party." That's what he was saying. Um, now if he goes here, I fossilize him because I take. He takes and he loses the queen. If he goes back, I check him and I mate him. And if not, I mean, again, the thing is that basically all all my boys are are, are at the party. So let's go check and mate. Let's keep rolling. Yeah. Let's go knight f6 and e6 here. Play c5, knight c6. Maybe bishop g4, maybe e5. Let's play e5 here. Let's go e4. I'm going to play... I mean, I guess I'm going to just take and go here. I don't know. I'm going to go for a Greek gift. Can we get a Greek gift? No, he won't let me. So if he's not going to let me, I'm just going to go true caveman, just all in. Just attack. Let's keep going. I'm gonna go rook g8 here. A lot of pressure. Knight g4 is a huge threat also. Okay, let's go here. Let's go for queen h4, go for checkmates. Knight on g3 is under attack too. Let's go here. And does he have a way to stop checkmate in one? I literally don't see it, so I'll pre-move it. He has no way to stop checkmate in one here. Let's keep rolling. Let's keep going. This will be 190 if I win this game, I believe. Let me let me just double check. Yeah, this will be 190. Let's go here in f4, I guess. Okay, he's playing the Gurganidzi setup himself here, so I'm gonna play knight f3, bishop e3. No, come on, you guys. Very funny. The guy the guy cheated. I mean, what should happen ideally is I just I should have stopped after the game and waited for a rating reset, but whatever. Let's keep rolling. Let's go knight e2, bishop c1. Let's go here, knight b3. Could I spectate Ludwig? Probably, but I'm I'm feel like I'm doing well here. You you want me to? What, what is Ludwig playing? 
Is he playing bullet or blitz? Because if it's bullet, there's no way I can commentate on it anyway. Let's go H4, H... Oh, I give me that. Give me H5. But let's go here. A4, Knight, D4, I guess. What's he... Oh, he's playing blitz. He is. Okay, then then I can... I, I'll, I'll take a look. At, I'll pop in in a second. Let's go here. Kick the bishop. And rook H5 is a move too. Uh, I guess I'll just take... Oh, I get a, uh, we're going to get uh, a lolly checkmate here on G7 with the pawn and the queen. Just clean checkmate. He's playing five minute games. Do you guys really want me to watch? I can definitely watch if you guys want me to. Okay, now we go checkmate. Let's keep rolling. No, okay, no, all right. Let's keep rolling. Ten more to the two to two hundred. Let's go here. Actually, I'll I'll re-update the score to one ninety because it, it actually looks weird with it at two hundred when I'm so far out. Okay, let's go here. Maybe e five. Maybe c five. Maybe g six as well. Let's go here. Let's go knight h five. Hit the bishop. Just take. Let's go here. Bishop g7. Uh, I'll play bishop g7. Maybe e5 next move. Okay, he's going for something with knight g5. Um, I don't understand. So I'm gonna play e5 here. If he goes f4, I'll go queen e7. Line up something towards his king. He's got like the uh, something set up. But I close the diagonal, no threats because my pawns block it. Have I done eye tracker puzzles? No, I think I, I, I want to try that. Um, but I haven't had the time. Wait, that's a free juicer. Thank you to Nico Knives for the Prime. Thank you to Jack for the Prime. Lentil KYZ for the Prime. Eloys for the Prime. Sandbag with the Tier 1. Acro Ausus for the Tier 1. Davey 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 with the Prime. Pupil with the Prime. L LAPD with the Prime. Thank you to Nem Newt for the 7. And Prime Wood for the 2 months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you to Elvis for the $7. Yeah. A few more to 2K. Yeah. Yeah, I think 2K is where I'm going to stop Stop with the speed run for now. Thank you to Rebecca Lauren for the 11 months. Does subbing to you count as stocks? Um... What does that mean? Uh, let's go shock and knight f6 next move. I have to be careful because there's some rook h3 to trap my queen. Very dangerous, but I go here so that I cover the square. No rook h3 now. It's a tax write off. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you're saying can you use it as a tax write off? I don't think so. You're also not going to get a ROI on the investment. Well, at least not like monetarily. Um, just go here and kick the knight and then knight e4. Let's go here. Again, uh, we got that we have the bash in here. Look at this knight. What a bastion it is. Um, let's just take and take the juicer, I guess. Whoa, thank you to Skokie for the five gift. Thank you to Kulex for a good sub as well. Thank you so much, Skokie. Thank you to Killawell for the two and Radical Pro for the tier one. Thank you so much, Radical Pro. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, let's just Castrol. All in on dollars knock. NAK. Isn't that a stock or not? Isn't that actually like a ticker? Am I crazy? I don't know. Anyway, let's let's keep watching. Okay, let's go check. Uh, and I fossilize the rook. Queen holds the knight. Let's just eat the rook. 14k subs when? I don't know. We're, we're at 13,500 right now. It's been pretty crazy. Um... But again, just thank you so much, everybody, for the love for the love and support. You guys are amazing. Um, especially thank you to everybody for all the follows. I do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, we forked the king and the queen. GGs. <laughs> Thank you for the three bucks. Hey, Newman for the prime. Appreciate it. Let's play Scandinavian defense again. 
let's just take let's go queen a5 here c6 bishop f5 pretty standard stuff so far okay this guy's from ukraine pretty strong player 2033 we're, we're in that we're in the range where games are no longer really super easy okay let's go here knight b6 maybe he castles that looks very dubious i'm gonna play h5 it may not be right but i guess i'll pre-move this actually i can also take maybe and then use the rook on the open file we'll see okay go g5 so obviously i go um let's go here i don't know if this is right thank you to flying dutchman for the tier one thing so much Okay, let's take with the pawn bishop f5 and g6 next move very lovely position my opponent has overextended all of his pawns on this king side so i should be doing very well i'm gonna play g6 because now it's a closed uh flying b with the uh, lovely bishop in front of it great bishop i mean you see i've got the one two three flying v let's go uh let's go here and target this pawn let's go here target the knight that's a free juicer I think a flash chance for the two and Ganyra for the uh for the um uh for the seven thing so much let's just castle thank you for the five bucks appreciate it thank you the goose formation is this the goose this is the, this is the flying v isn't it it's like the uh two forwards and then two defensemen defensemen at the point um th this is this is a flying v this is the hockey formation let's go queen c4 it's a flying v because isn't the V you have the two forwards going down low to chase into the boards then you have the two forwards off to the sides and you, you or the two defensemen then you have the third defenseman or actually no I guess two two that's not what it is sorry it's three forwards not not but anyway two forwards a forward and a defenseman and then you have the defenseman at the point um so yeah have I ever watched a hockey game yeah I've gone to quite a few playoff hockey games even I love hockey it's my favorite sport uh that's free rook I'll take it Let's keep going Canucks fans know hockey I love hockey I love hockey go Bishop b4 tennis is my I mean tennis is my favorite sport to play and follow but like in actual terms of like watching I love hockey I just can't play hockey obviously because my skating abilities are not that good and um and obviously like I that's if you don't grow up with hockey there's no way you'll ever really get into it let's go bishop b7 thank you to Mr Solikulu for the six months thank you so much appreciate it thank you to Keskinat for the prime let's go check hit the king but yeah I, I do love hockey it's definitely my favorite sport to um uh I just take it's my it's definitely my favorite sport to to watch live that's for sure uh did I somehow get tricked here wait take yeah I blunder that he is rookie one he's rookie one so I can't just take that's why I have to develop the Bishop here It would be fun to watch if I can see the puck. Uh, hockey's the only sport where, like, when you watch on TV, it's very hard to see the actual, like, the, the puck or the ball in a way that doesn't exist for any other sport. But if you go watch live and you have a general idea, like, I mean, when you see them dump the puck in and go chase it, like, you have a pretty good idea. Now, wait, can I take and take, maybe? I can, but it's not great. So let's just drop back. let's go here or we have like the B bishop mirror that's a very weird like bishop bishop something who's there I can obviously just take and take I guess I just take and take spoken like a proper hockey fan what did I say it was like a proper hockey fan sorry I what, what did I just say it's like a proper ho hockey fan I mean I, I, ha I haven't followed hockey super closely for a while but I I, I love hockey thank you caboose for the prime thank you 
all about the Canucks. All about the Canucks. Those were great, great times when they had the Sedin twins. Also, you know, actually, one thing I was going to say is I bought I bought the season pass for like 99 bucks the other day. And it's weird, but when I watch regular season hockey, maybe it's my imagination because I've only watched like two or three games. But somehow, magically, there's no fighting because there are no fans or something. It's like, wait a second. What, then why are they even fighting at all in the first place? Like, I mean, it's just very weird. Yeah, there's like no fighting. So then it's just like, well, that's good. That's just like playoff hockey when people don't do that stuff. So it's very good. Play D4 Knight of three. Okay, let's keep going. Let's play more Vienna here. Ah, uh, Enforcer Roll doesn't exist, so that's why, yeah, I mean, I, I, I see that. Yeah, let's go Knight of three. I'm gonna play, uh, let's play D4 E5. Let's go back and take. I guess I'll play uh, here to take the knight, maybe. And I don't know if he's moving the knight. Okay, plays h6. So I'll take and go here and take. Thank you to Uncle Poop for the 11 months. Thank you. Let's go b4 and castles. Very happy position. He's by the way, he's gonna get a bad bishop here, as you'll see very shortly. Let's go here, knight g3 or knight f4, maybe depending. Not sure which square. Let's go here. I'm gonna go knight f4, hit the bishop. I didn't actually expect him to play that. Let's go here, maybe queen g3. His bishop is so bad on b6, it's just out to lunch. It's not actually threatening anything here. Let's go here and just trade and trade. Favorite player in the NHL? I don't have a favorite player at the moment. Um, I mean, if, if you favorite player, I mean, I really was a fan of Yager a couple of years ago when he when he sort of came out of nowhere to play again after all those years. Okay, let's go. Um, let go king h1 here. Not necessary, but I. Wow. Okay. Again, look at these pawns. They just dominate the bishop. The bishop is just dead. Like in that winter game from uh, 1923 against Capablanca, you end up with this bishop that's just doing nothing. It's just. It's staring at a pawn wall, and it's just out to lunch permanently. Okay, now I'm just gonna start to attack because again, the bishop is, is gone. So we're just playing like, we're playing just sort of like an end game. I think I just take, again, pawns are guarded. This bishop is just dead and my two horses are way too strong here. No, Yager is not playing anymore, is he? he might, maybe he's playing in a, maybe he's playing in the Czech Republic, but he's not in the NHL anymore. It's just a forced checkmate. Okay, let's go e5, maybe knight c6 here. Let's go knight f6. Let's play an open English. d5 takes, I guess, and just ace. Is that a slip or intentional, actually? I wonder. Literally have no idea. I assume that was a slip. Let's go here. Maybe he'll play b5. Okay, takes, I take. I get my big center here, so I should be very happy. Actually, I'm going to rotate with my horse here. Rotate the horse to g6. Guard the center so that when he plays knight three, there's no threat. And now I'm just going to start to expand on the queen side. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go for the kill in the center. Immediately takes. I just take. Okay, this should be very good for me if I play this correctly. Hmm. Let's go rookie eight. Maybe not so clear. Hmm. Actually, maybe really not so clear. Let's go queen c7. Let's take. Let's go here. Maybe knight b4. Maybe knight e5 is a move also. Hit the queen. Knight d3 is a threat. Knight e5. Again, look at my horses. They're coming to the party. Let's go here. Again, I'm going to bring the horses to the party, but he's also got problems with the pawn. I can also open up the diagonal if I can get a knight to d3. How are you still playing, you monster? I left for hours. <laughs> Thank you, Divine Faith for the tier one, zero ones for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, this should just be crushing. Because I can I can open up the line here. This is the big thing. Let's just take and open this up. And huge threats every which way. Let's just go here, hit the queen. I can always take. I can also always check. I can also take. Let's go check. Let's just go here, plant the knight on C2 permanently. 
with the pawns around it. This pawn's under attack. Pretty ugly. Uh, let's just eat the juicer. Let's go rook a2 uh, and fossilize him. So when he takes the bishop, I go check and I fossilize him and the rook holds the knight and he loses everything. The chess 24 tournament you're playing is stack. Got some crazy troop GMs. By the way, I missed a mate in two. So I'll just go for the checkmate in two. The fossils were nice, but fossils are just fossils. Speedrun is uh, we're doing eye tracker. So you see where I'm looking at on the screen. 1822. Okay, let's go here. Let's go C5 maybe. Maybe B6, Bishop B7. Maybe A6 here, maybe D5, Knight D7. Let's go D6, kick the Knight. Fossilize means to fossilize something. So, you know, it's like you dig up the fossils out of the ground. So, you know, like they're they're fossils and um, it's like something's dead. It's like you, you rediscover something. You rediscover it. It's taking a D5. Chess 24, they apparently announced something, I guess. I, 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 I don't know. Let's just go here. Did I ever watch the Sedin Brothers play? I don't think I ever saw them play live. Maybe one time. Actually, I did see them play one time. Fossils get discovered? Yes, exactly. It's frozen, right? Let's go T5. <laughs> Takes, I just take. I'm going to take and castle, I guess. They announced the field? Yeah, I have no idea. I haven't looked, but yeah. We'll take and take, maybe. Let's go rook c8, pressure on the pawn. Let's go here, hit the juicer. I can just castle, maybe queen c7. Let's go here, target the juicer. This should be very good. Um, I don't see much left for my opponent. Just much worse. This is such a high school song? Yeah, it is, I know. Uh, let's just take it, why not? It's a free pawn. I can just castle. I think it was splined for the prime, or speened for the prime, thank you so much. Let's just castle here, rook c8 next move, looks pretty good. Uh, I think I go here. Big problems, he has to move the knight and then he loses the juicer in the center. Because he has to guard, which is why he has to go to e2. Okay, let's just take the pawn. Let's go here. Thank you, 1L Arnie, for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Maybe knight g4 is knight, maybe knight d5 also with knight e3. Let's go check and take. uh let's take the rook and take the bishop because it's a fossil again and now we just take <laughs> let's go rook a8 he does have thank you blizzy thank you for the five bucks blizzy appreciate it thank you let's go here Just take, no fossils, I'll just move a pawn. Again, no, no, uh, no, no, uh, potential ice skater, king g7 next move, it's all pretty good. Let's go here. Let's just go for the, the, uh, the bro lift or bro stack, let's take. Let's keep rolling. Okay, let's play e4. Four away from 200, we're at 196, so I assume I will win this one too. Okay, there we go. Let's play knight c3 and d4 here. Guess I'll take, why not? Can I play some K-pop? Um, not exactly. Just take, let's go here. Bishop d2, of course. Oh yeah, we've got Escalator Elvis here, right? We've got the Escalator. We built we built our nice little Escalator here. So let's go Knight here. I want to put the Knight on D3. I don't mind trading one set of Rooks. 
let's just trade a set again my escalator is really good he's missing the escalator he's got the double stack instead of having an escalator the way he would like to have one yeah actually why did I do this it's kind of stupid of me let's go c3 oopsies oopsie daisies I want to my I'm just gonna keep the escalator forever and just hit the pawn here let's go here target the rook target the pawn knight has to go he's also losing everything up here okay let's play e4 again I feel like I'm getting a lot of quick ones let's play King's Gambit yeah I ran into one engine user unfortunately earlier but only one so it's good people are staying very clean playing proper so it's good stuff go here and just take I guess mm, I think Bishop before now he gets forked I want a nice clean fight I'm in a pretty good mood today yeah feeling good let's just take the pawn I can castle and play 95 Fenway Park uh, do they play this at Fenway or something is this a Fenway song it is oh no no wonder no wonder no no wonder nobody likes Boston let's go Bishop F3 <laughs> let's go here but the beans what Bishop that this was Boston way before Carolina okay let's go here again I guard the juicer and he's gonna lose the knight Thank you to Wazzleberry for the Prime Nitro XI for the Prime uh FUH for the Prime Bill High Guy for the Prime AL Walker for the two months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Did I hear about the fire at the circus? Yeah, I that's some joke that I'm missing. Anyway, let's go here, target the horse. I'm willing to trade down because I have two rooks and he's only got one. That's a ice skater. Thank you to one wealth for the prime and shockster for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Let's go here. Let's play knight c6 let's play uh we're playing a German so in honor of my German friend here let's play ich bin ein une Berliner let's go here okay we'll play an end game very technically correct you know Mr Billingsgate for the um for the prime thank you so much okay let's play here I think a dingus Khan for the prime <laughs> this guy's playing super technically sound chess wait that's a mistake what's he doing what is my what is he doing what is he doing oh my let's go here let's just take and go here he thinks he's playing hyper bullet I guess I mean very weird this guy, oh he's gonna move okay let's play the uh Terish. or no he plays a Sicilian d5 is good here but I'm willing to play a Sicilian I, I don't really mind it okay he's, he's begging me to play d5 so I'm gonna do it let's just take this is not supposed to be good for black by the way that's why they usually don't play this order I'm gonna go here let's just play here to stop Bishop g4 now I'll play a4 to stop b5 and now I will castle and very very bad position for black because I can bring the Bishop out bring the Knight out really really pleasant stuff here black is very cramped too he, he's have, gonna have trouble getting this Knight in because the Bishop's in the way and the pawns sort ooh well that's a bit too much that's just too much okay I can even just go here and rookie one I mean I understand what he's trying to do with like Bishop g7 but it can't be right I can even go 92 94 probably have I ever watched a game in Montreal yes I have actually yeah I went to a game one time at the Bell Center let's go 94 I just take with the Knight again look at this Queen's King Queen side no development Knight f6 is coming this is a big problem should be winning um let's just go check let's go here create the Arabian checkmate kind of oopsies that's checkmate I think that's 200 let me see 
Yeah, that is exactly 200 wins. So 200 wins, zero losses, zero draws. Wow. Good stuff, good stuff.